notifications and I got a package. It is the, I believe it's called the Wild Wolf Tarot. Obviously the um, title of this video is gonna have it correct. I'm not positive. Um, it's a Kickstarter tarot deck that I backed like a long time ago and it just got here. So all my Kickstarters are like starting to come in. So anyways, let's turn this around and we're gonna start looking at this deck. Right. Let's dive in. I don't know if I'm at the back of the package or... Okay, yeah, I think I opened it backwards, but... Let's get all these little goodies out of here. Alright, let's move that out of the way. So, the deck is by Brianna Jolie. Apparently she does intuitive channel light working and she is a tarot reader move all our crinkle paper um here is one of the drawings that will be on the cards and then we have a thank you the wild wolf t wild wolf tarot briannajolie.com your inner wolf is here to guide you now let them lead stay wild brianna how cute all right, so let's get this shrink wrap over here and then we'll look at the box. So yeah, again, this is a deck that I uh, backed on Kickstarter, oh my gosh, a while back. I believe, I thought I saw that it is available on Etsy. So um, I will link below where you can purchase this deck now. Okay. The box of mine said limited edition, so I don't know if this is any different from what you can get. But anyways, it's by Brianna Jolie Sass and Jessica Tomps Tompkins. Wild Wolf Tarot. And then the back says, the call of the wild, the howl of your ancestors, the voices of your soul, all lies within your heart. So... Get my lighting over here a little bit better. Nice box. Oh, cute. Do we have the elements? Yes, we have the element symbols. And then we have our cute little white book. Very nice. Okay. Let me move some things out of the way. Here, we'll just set that right there. Right, let's do it. So we have the fool. Oh, that's nice. And then she has like a little keyword. So innocence. The magician manifestation. The white wolf divine feminine. So this is our high priestess. The feminine abundance. This is our empress. And then we have Mas the masculine, which is structure, and the emperor. The hunt, traditions, number five. The hierophant. Then we have the lovers. It says union. It's the lovers. The mountain, determination. So that's the chariot. Strength, courage. It is strength. The Lone Wolf, Inner Guidance, uh, The Hermit. Oh, that's nice. I'm assuming that these are the astrological symbols, the fixed signs, um, seasons, life cycles. So this is um, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have Justice, Truth, which is Justice. The Injured Surrender, so we have the um, Hanged Man. Death Endings, it is Death. Temperance, Patience. The Prey, the Shadow Self, so this is our Devil. The Storm, Chaos, so we've got our Tower. 
the star optimism the moon the unknown the sun growth Judgment is inner critic. And then we have the world completion. So that is our major arcana. And now I'm gonna have to figure out, <laughs> maybe this is, okay, I think this is an extra card because it's 22. The black wolf, which is ancestral healing. Isn't he pretty? All right, now we're gonna go with ace of hunters. I'm gonna say that this is our pentacles. So it says prosperity, which makes sense. Two of hunters. Three, oh, so the two says adaptability. Three of hunters is collaboration. Four of hunters is security. Five of Hunters is Poverty. Six is Charity. Oh, I like this one. Seven of Hunters is Investment. Vernas. Eight of Hunters is Education. Nine is Freedom. And then 10 is contribution. Oh my gosh, hold on, these are cute. <laughs> so instead of page, we have pop. Oh my God, entrepreneur. And we've got the earth symbol. And then um, instead of uh, night, we've got pack of hunters and it says efficiency. And then our queen would be the beta of hunters, motherly advice. And then our king is Alpha of Hunters, which is for discipline. All right, so now we have caretakers. So I'm gonna assume this is our water, or um, I mean our cups. Ace of Caretakers, Compassion. Two is Attraction. Three is Community. Four, Contemplation. Aww. Five is Regret. Aw, poor puppy. Six is Nostalgia. So it does go along with the Rider weight system, you can tell. Seven, Illusion. Eight is Disappointment. Nine, pleasure. 10 is alignment. And then we have our pop, creativity, our water symbol. Pack is charm. Beta is calm. Got our little lotus flower. And then we have our alpha for emotional balance. All right, so then we have leaders. So what do we have left? We've got, um, we just did cups and pinnacles. So we have swords or wands. I'm gonna say this is probably wands, especially with that color palette, it looks more like wands. Um, so inspiration, yeah, that's this is wands. And then we have two is discovery. Three is Foresight. Four is Home. Five, Disagreement. Six, Progress. Seven is Competition. This is like unlike any deck that I have. Um, but I'm really liking it. Eight, change. They're totes adorbs. 
9 resilience, 10 responsibility, and we have our cup with our fire symbol, enthusiasm, pack, passionate, beta is vibrancy, alpha is honor, And then we have our swords, Ace of Watchers. So we have uh, Clarity. Two is Choice. Three is Separation. Four is Rest. Five is Tension. Six is transition. Seven is deception. I guess he's taken off with something. <laughs> Eight is anxiety. Nine is realization. Look at that crow. Ten is deep wounds. Aww. Poor baby. All right, and then we have our air symbol on our pup, and it says curious. Our pack is ambition. Beta is independence. And our alpha is intellectual. All right, and so here's the backs of the cards. How amazing is that? I love the back of that. All right, let's shuffle this up. And for reference, it is maybe just a tiny bit bigger than um, the writer weight. All right, let's draw a card. What do we need to know today? Pup of Caretakers, Creativity. So this is our... Um, uh, page of water, page of um, cups. All right, let's see what she wrote about it. What are those caretakers? Hunters, caretakers. Pup. All right, it says creativity. Open your eyes for the first time like the pup of caretakers. The world in front of you is filled with deep green forest of curiosity and blue sparkling rivers of possibility. How do you leave your creative mark in this community? How do you spread and share your love? Be inspired by the young pup. Use the me messages sent by your ancestors to play and practice your gifts. And then it gives the reverse a meaning. The most common lesson a pup must overcome is doubting their intuition. Release your creative blocks by playing with your senses. Imagine the colors, textures, and sounds during meditation or downtime. All right, so what do you guys think? This is such a cute little deck. I'd love to hear your comments. Did you guys back this on Kickstarter? Is this something that you resonate with? What do you think of the color palette? There's the box again. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you are a current subscriber, I appreciate you so much. And if you have not subscribed to me, I would love if you would consider um, hitting that little subscribe button. I'd love a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps me. And leave me a comment what you think of the deck. And um, check me out on Instagram. The link is below. I've got lots of things there too. And I will leave a link for this deck in case this is something that resonates with you. Thanks again so much, y'all. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.